Good evening, folks. It's uh, Monday, November 8th. So today was a choppy day, right? So it's a good thing that we did not trade it after morning, let's say 15 minutes, 20 minutes onwards, right? So I immediately said that, or I think within 30 minutes, right? And actually at one point I tweeted also, right? That today is a recipe to lose money for the day traders, day traders, okay? So and when that thing happens right uh, so i can sense something right so when the way price behaves of the few few minutes of the open i can pretty much sense either what are the possibilities right what is the possibilities of or what are the possibilities of price to either chop during the day going forward or there is a possibility for a trend day you know but today that was not the case so that's why i said you know what do not trade after like first few minutes right because most likely price is going to do ping pong right and it's hard to trade in the ping pong because not because we don't know how to trade it but it's hard to justify the location to trade first of all for the entry and due to the ping pong nature it may uh, uh, let's say if you're long right so it may go below your designated stop and stop you out and then go higher something like that or you or it is hard even though let's say entry works in your favor it is hard to even hold on to your trade because of the ping pong nature that's why it's better not to trade okay so so that's why so but anyway so today uh, so es continue to favor buyers right at pullback gap up and go or gap down and go situation in the morning hours possible right and then it could be a rejection after the first two hours depending on the real time situation right if price continues to hold below o2 then we are looking at the balancing activity for the next three to four days right else slow grinding trending up activity so pretty much this thing happened today right of the open it broke above it but then immediately it came down and just basically stayed below it right so that means we have to look for this kind of activity right and if that is the case then tomorrow could be the similar day like today now if today's low is broken in nq and in es then we could have a move to the downside right but we'll see how it goes you know but even though if it downside move happens tomorrow price will get stuck into one of the support below and then it will again go try to go higher and eventually this thing will continue to happen you know so today's important levels were 94 96 02 06 uh, 91 83 74 these are the levels to trade today right so pretty much price just ping pong around 02 it even hits one time 06 came back took out 02 and then held O2 as a resistance, came down to this area, it bounced from it, then it came down to this area, again it bounced back to 702, 97, right? So at least this activity of, of price is telling you that, hey, you know what, it's a ping pong day, right? So the sooner you recognize that, you're better off, you know? So, so I did not take any trade in ES today. NQ, yes, I did. So NQ also you look at it about 298 buyers are there favor buyers right below that area some selling may come right but that did not happen price pretty much held 16300 area right and pretty much it rotated around these two areas pretty much entire day right so NQ has a long situation right of the open so at 932 it pulled back to this area right so I went long right there because NQ usually uh, does a pretty good move of the open you know it bounces at least so so i went long in nq when, when es came down to 4700 you know but i did not take long in es you know because it's too aggressive for me in es because es doesn't move that fast right so i i was looking for 91 if es came down to 91 right of the open i would have gone long you know but that did not happen so i let go es but i went long in nq around 365 370 actually 370 i bailed out in nq i'll show you later on and then pretty much it was ping pong entire day right russell i did not do anything but except just when it hits 56 i said 
in this code to watch out 56 could be a resistance you know and then pretty much 56 held and then price all the way came down to 36 which is in between right so overnight either this or this will act you know now i did not bother to look into it gold as i said yesterday buyers are there about this area right and pretty much this is what i typed in yesterday night that about this area we can look for longs in gold but since i was busy in watching these things you know i couldn't even trade gold today but you can see it it went all the way up to 30 this area somewhere right so gold is bullish for now bullish means i would say neutral do this you know overall is still garbage but buyers are there so we can favor gold long above this area you know crude i did not watch it today but i'm sure it ping pong right between this levels pretty much and this area today right so that's how the crude is right but favor longs bullishness you know compared to selling right that's what i said favor more buyers into support than resistance overall could help it right pretty much so that's how it is today so let's go here right so there is nothing to talk about so today's video is not going to be about where to go long and all these things today's video is about knowing when to, when to step aside and do not trade as a day trader right so today was the day ideally i do not like any trade in es none, none in nq either look at this see so this is after the fact right i'm seeing this but even at around this time i typed in this code or here you know, that do not trade right here around 10 o'clock or so you know because i can see the way it was behaving some sellers were there today right off the open in few minutes 10 minutes i said you know sellers are there today so since buyers are anyway is going to be there and see sellers are also showing signs in intraday most likely is going to chop around you know so this was the trade i was talking about right of the open see here in nq see these are the same lines you know from yesterday it worked out today also right so nq came from 370 of the pre-market straight to 332 over area right so 329 332 so i went long right there you know and i built out right here that's it right here on the way up not coming down on the way up right here you know because something goes off you know i sense it and and yes it went higher but then eventually it came down see my point so yes look at this o6 held as a resistance right our line o6 o2 right so it it basically started off o2 went to o6 o6 came down click below o2 held as a resistance see came down to this support bounce it again went down 91 tried to go higher couldn't failed again and down see so this is not the price action you want to trade this is after the fact right but you have to see it, that thing coming right here you know so this is what i typed in this call that do not trade today you know so i 91 i let it go i did not even touch it right so because this was not an ideal trade now 91 was here if it came down straight to 91 here i would have gone long but after doing this and now after typing the day is screwed up right do not trade i do not want to go long at 91 right yes only way you can go i why i saw that why i even display the arrow here it's not a valid setup but it was a very long based on the level why because internals right so internals were holding it even though they were trending down but they were holding it see so first time here it was here right second time even price tried to break down right this balance but look at ad still same right no change momentum pretty much same right so based on that and into the fact nq came down close to 298 you can go long not in nq because it was breaking down but yes based on internals you can and because nq can fall back to you know when globex low so or come down to 298 little bit lower then it bounces you know or back and forth but nq was scary you know based on this top down pull back 
down right so it can continue to do this pattern so that's why nq long was not ideal here but yes based on internals you can go long and this is where when we hit 97 i said take profit right considering the day even though in the chop if you went long i said take the profit here so those who, who took the profit they all they, they got lucky those who did not take the profit they pretty much give back their profit see my point so you have to know in advance when to take profit on what kind of day when to hold on you know even though if you got long here right so that's pretty much it and at the end he is close right at our level 91 see my point so level is important so now most likely tomorrow in the overnight it is going to move either here or about this level you know it's going to do something in q and is going to do the same thing so it spent so much time around this 332 level right this level so this line is important 332 you know so either is going to stay below entire overnight or is going to go higher you know? it's going to move eventually you know so just watch out for those signals okay and that we all for today